Hello everyone, welcome to Automators Industrial Projects. In this lesson, I will explain you about the types of addressing used in ST language. The types of addressing are immediate addressing, direct addressing, memory indirect addressing, area internal register indirect addressing, and area crossing register indirect addressing. Let's see in, the, in detail here. What is immediate addressing? Immediate addressing is is the value with which the instruction is working or the address is coded directly in the instruction. For example, if you see here, the integer 27 is loaded into accumulator 1 with the help of load instruction. Similarly, the character ABCD is loaded into accumulator with load instruction. And this is immediate addressing. So, let's next. Let's move to direct addressing. Direct addressing has the two parts. The first one is an address identifier and the second one is an exact location within the memory area that is indicated by the address identifier. What is address identifier? For example, you see here in example 1, AI 10.0. I is an address identifier and it is pointing to the location 10.0 where the instruction is going to process similarly here IB an ident address identifier with the pointer location to 0 similarly MW64 so these were the examples for direct addressing let's move to memory indirect addressing the benefit of memory indirect addressing is to modify the statement address dynamically during program execution so in this also we have two parts one is an address identifier for example IP for input bytes and the other one is that it contains um, the exact location of value within the memory area indicated by the address identifier or via the pointer so we also have a short look on the pointer the pointer is an address of a variable or it contains an address instead of a value for example you see here m50.0 we are pointed with th m50.0 but anyway in the coming classes i will explain in detail about the about the this uh, pointers let's move to memory indirect addressing in this again we have two formats and the first one is word format and the second one is double word format so you guys have just prepared an excel sheet you see here uh, the pointer format with the word and double word the word format in this bit 0 to 15 we normally use for the ranges for timer counter function blocks and functions etc so we check with the example here you see we have loaded the value 3 and transferred to the MW10 and we have opened the DB with, with the location MW10 that is we are pointing with an address identifier DB to MW10 so with the value of mw10 we are opening the db that means now the db3 should be opened you see in db1 we have the value 3 as we have transferred it or we have transferred it with, in, with the help of db identifier so the second one is double word format i have prepared this in the function one here we see again we go to excel sheet just to make it more clear you see the first three bits are the bit number ranges from 0 to 7 that means these three cross marks indicates the bit number that is 0 to 2 and from 3 to 18 we indicate the byte number so p hash 8.7 is the pointer 8.7 we have transferred it to the accumulator or md22 and with the help of address identifier we are opening this 
pointer 8.7 that means i 8.7 is equal to output 8.7 even if you simulate here you see the output is going off if i make it on again it's going on because we have made the indirect addressing with a i ng22 have the value 8.7 that means it is in a similar way i'm just writing this a i 8.7 equal to q 8.7 as the this is just for your understanding i'm writing here ng22 stores 8.7 value byte 8 and 7 is the bit value you could also see here this is 8 and 4 to 1 this is 7 8.7 is transferred to md22 and we have opened this ai 8.7 equal to q 8.7 so whenever i'm making the i 8.7 true so output is also getting true if i make it zero the output is also getting zero so this were about the types of addressing in the part two or in the coming class i will explain you about the area internal indirect addressing and area crossing indirect addressing and about the accumulators and so on thank you for watching this video please do like and subscribe